Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel and in this video we shall be discussing the diagnosis of pregnancy, a topic from the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. So um, this tutorial is going to be focused mainly on the diagnosis of pregnancy in the first trimester, which is the first 12 weeks. So firstly, let's discuss the symptoms. Number one is cessation of menstruation. Um, otherwise known as the missed period. This usually occurs due to increased estrogen and progesterone production by the corpus luteum. However, it may be absent in cases of pregnancy during lactation amenorrhea, um, threatened abortion, or in what is known as Hartman's sign, which is basically um, slight bleeding at the expected time of menstruation due to what is known as implantation of bleeding. Um, and it usually occurs in the first three months. So the second symptom I'd like to highlight in this tutorial when diagnosing pregnancy is morning sickness, which is basically nausea and vomiting, especially in the morning. It usually disappears after the third month, and it may be due to allergy to human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. The third symptom I'll talk about in this tutorial is frequency of micturition. And this occurs due to congestion, irritation of the bladder by the pregnant uterus, and it also usually disappears after the third month. Okay, so the fourth symptom to look out for when diagnosing pregnancy is breast symptoms, um, which means that the breast will be enlarged. Um, there's a feeling of heaviness, discomfort, as well as a tingling sensation. And the fifth symptom is appetite changes. So your patient will complain of craving for certain types of food and refusal of other types. All right, so now let's talk about the signs when diagnosing pregnancy. So firstly, breast signs. And the breast signs are evident in Prima Gravida, whereby there is an increase in the size and vascularity on examination, you can see dilated uh, veins. There is an increased pigmentation of the nipple and the primary areola, and the appearance of the secondary areola. And this usually occurs um, in the second trimester. So another important breast sign is the appearance of Montgomery tubercles in the areola. And there's an expression of colostrum um, at about 12 weeks. Okay, now let's talk about the uterine sign, which is felt by bimanual examination. And uh, we're able to assess the size, which happens to be enlarged. And uh, there's a soft consistency with a globular shape. So another important uterine sign, which is uh, felt by bimanual examination, is Hagar sign. That can be elicited between 6 to 10 weeks. And basically, um, two fingers are placed in the anterior fornix and the fingers of the other hand above the abdomen behind the uterus, whereby the fingers of both hands can be approximated as the lower part of the uterine body is soft and empty. Um, and lastly, let's talk about palmar sign, which is basically uterine contractions felt on bimanual examination. So number three on my list of signs to look out for when diagnosing pregnancy is cervical and vaginal signs. Um, there is an increase in vaginal discharge known as leucorrhea, a bluish discoloration of the vagina and the cervix known as Chadwick's sign, and um, cyanosis and softening of the cervix at four weeks known as Goodell's sign. All right, now let's discuss investigations. And number one on the list is a pregnancy test, which all depends on the detection of HCG, which is the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone, um, either in the serum or in urine. And simple urine pregnancy tests are now available to be used at home, giving an accurate result within five minutes. And they can be bought from, from the nearest supermarket or even a pharmacy. So an example of a pregnancy test worth highlighting is the estimation of beta subunit of HCG in the serum, which is done by using radioimmunoassay with a sensitivity of 5 milli-international units 
per milliliter and it has a positive one week before the expected menstruation, which is basically one week after fertilization. In addition, non-pregnant females have uh, the result of less than 3 million international units per milliliter. And this assay may be significantly impacted by high-dose biotin um, taken within the previous 12 hours. Another pregnancy test that may be taken to diagnose is the ELISA pregnancy slides test. Um, and it can detect pregnancy starting from 48 hours after the missed period. Very sensitive test. And finally, the third test I'll talk about the third uh, pregnancy test is the immunologic pregnancy test, which detects HCG in urine by an antigen antibody reaction. And the sensitivity of this test range between 25 to 250 milli international units per milliliter, with a positive few days after the missed period. So basically, results range in over 25 milli international units per mil per milliliter indicate that the that uh, the individual is pregnant. So ultrasonography is a very common investigation done to diagnose pregnancy, and there are two types: that is vaginal and abdominal. So for vaginal, the gestation suck can be detected as early as four weeks. The one fetal pole can also be detected at five weeks, two fetal poles can be detected by six weeks, and a fetal heart activity can be detected at seven weeks. Um, but as for abdominal ultrasound, the above findings can be detected only one week later. So finally, on my list of investigation is uh, auscultation of the fetal heart sound, which can be done starting from 10 weeks using Dopton, otherwise known as Sonic Aid. Well, that's it from me. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And be sure to check out my other tutorials on obstetrics and gynecology as well as microbiology. I'll leave the link in the description box. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up.